Do flaps help or hurt the takeoff roll and climb out? Let's find out. The Cessna 172 has four flap settings. We're gonna do four takeoffs just like this one. Rotation will happen at 70 knots and the climb out will be performed at 80 knots. Each scenario was done by using a flight recorder and the drone in a set position. One thing that flaps do is they increase lift, but also as lift is increased, drag is increased. But let's see what happens. Will it help the takeoff roll and the climb with the extra lift, or will it hurt one or both? Let's find out. Here's the first takeoff with flaps zero. Each flight was restarted at the exact same point and also live weather was turned off so there's no wind. Flap settings for takeoff in the Cessna 172 are either zero or 10 degrees, but no more than that. But since this is Microsoft Flight Simulator and rules don't apply here, we're gonna use every flap setting up to 30 for the takeoff roll and climb out in both situations. With the flaps at 10 degrees, the takeoff roll was almost identical to flaps zero. In reality, flaps at 10 degrees should yield a slightly shorter takeoff roll than flaps zero. In the Cessna 172, flaps at 10 degrees are used for short and soft field takeoffs, but they can also be used for normal takeoffs. As the airplane reaches the previous two liftoff points, flaps 20 yields a longer takeoff roll. More flaps equals more lift, but also more drag. And that point will be driven home. Well, since this is aviation, we'll say the point will be flown home with the flaps at 30 degrees. Another thing that's happening with increased flaps during the takeoff roll, there's more drag. The acceleration rate is going to be slower. And you're seeing that now based on how long it's taken the airplane to get off the ground with flaps in the fold down position at 30 degrees. Now that we know how flaps affect the takeoff roll, let's see how flaps affect the climb out. The line showing the flight path for each degree of flaps will be shown and left on the screen for comparison. With flaps zero, after rotation at 70 knots, 80 knots was achieved almost immediately. 80 knots is being held for the climb out in all four scenarios. Next up, flaps at 10 degrees. This flap setting would be used on short and soft field takeoffs and would be maintained until clear of obstacles, then following the manufacturer's checklist and climbing out at VY or best rate of climb speed. But for dramatic effect, we're gonna leave the flaps in for every single takeoff. Maintaining that same 80 knot climb speed, you can see the angle is slightly less with flaps 10. With the flaps at 20 degrees, rotation still happened at 70 knots. The nose was held down slightly, but still climbing until 80 knots was reached and then the climb was maintained at 80 knots. You can see how the angle changed just a little bit once 80 knots was reached. Notice that flat part of the line back here? That's because of that extra drag and it takes that much more effort to reach 80 knots to start the climb out. And with full flaps, 30 degrees, watch how long that line stays flat. Until right there, the airplane finally reaches 80 and can climb. From this example, we can see that flaps hurt climb performance. We surely wouldn't use full flaps on takeoff, airplane reference. But full flaps on landing can be very beneficial. Here, the airplane is descending at approximately 1200 feet per minute with an indicated airspeed of 70 knots. Flaps can increase lift, but as lift is increased, drag is increased. Here in this situation, flaps are at zero. We're maintaining that same 70 knots, but look at our descent rate. It's only about 700 feet per minute. In the previous clip with flaps at 30, we were able to descend the airplane much faster at the same indicated airspeed because of all that extra induced drag. For even more comparison, let's do the same descent rate with zero flaps. So let's aim for 1200 feet per minute. As this is happening, look at the airspeed indicator. It's slightly increasing. The throttle is at idle. We are descending and the airspeed's eventually gonna get up to about 90 knots of indicated airspeed. So this is why airplanes will have a higher flap setting that can't be used for takeoff, but the higher flap setting will be used for landing. And the airplane can be flown safely at a slower speed. That slower speed will also shorten the landing distance. If you would like to learn more about flaps, such as how they increase lift and how they reduce stall speed, there's a link below to the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. That's a free PDF thanks to the Federal Aviation Administration 
and U.S. taxpayers like myself. Thank you for watching.